we are going to connect the diagnostic cable to the computer. So we have to open the glove box door, get access to the diagnostic port located over there. Just plug it in our cable. and run the diagnostic on the computer side. So in order to calibrate the encoder, we go to the specific encoder calibration page over here, and we just hit the calibration button. It will start the same procedure, show it before. On top of it, it will show us what is the angle recorded. So we have an offset from the zero position of 26 degree. We can also have another button here to check if the motor phases are properly connected. Remember the phase A, B, C? If, if for, by mistake you connect the A, C, B, for example, the motor it will rotate in the wrong direction. So check phases rotation. It will force the motor to rotate and it will rotate forward, has to rotate forward. Calibration of the encoder, simply it's a procedure that let the motor controller recognize the position of the motor in reference to the encoder. And once they are calibrated, they are in phase and the motor has the optimal efficiency. If for any reason this angle is wrong, the motor will behave badly or when you accelerate it will uh, be very, how to say, not smooth. So I will simplify the motor system, okay? Actually, this is our rotor and this is our motor shaft, okay? Let's simplify it, the, the drawing that we have the rotor polarized. Okay. In reality, we have many magnets, so the polarization is multiple. Around the rotor, and this is actually the part that is rotating in the motor. Around the motor, we have a winding. This is a coil. This is a coil. This is a coil. Phase A phase B, phase C. Okay, this is a simplified yeah. drawing. So what the motor controller do, it applied the current between A and B, mm -hmm. then between B and C, and then between C and A. Mm -hmm. So it will generate step by step oh, a switching permanent magnus. Mm -hmm. Okay, by switching it, it will generate a rotating magnetic field, okay? And the rotor, because it's polarized, it will just try to follow it, okay? It will spin. Now, the modern motor has a sensor mounted here on the shaft that provide a feedback to the motor controller about the position of the rotor, magnets, in, a, in according, in reference, to the status of a polarization of the magnetic field. So we know exactly that we have to switch to the next step when actually the plus, it will be here, mm -hmm. or either here, here, here. So it, it, it's an absolute position feedback. Right, right. If this sensor sends his zero here, but the magnetic field has his zero here, this angle actually, it's an offset that we will have to compensate oh, right. electrically. Yeah, so this procedure forces the motor to rotate mm -hmm. and sends the feedback of the encoder. It determinates what is the angle yeah. and it applies this offset into the code. Mm -hmm. So when the motor will drive, the magnetic field it will apply with a certain degree of advance or retard mm -hmm. in reference to the position of the rotor. Mm.